Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today, we're going to be discussing wands, specifically the first wand of Albus Dumbledore. What was it, and what secrets does it reveal about Dumbledore's character? Let's dive in. As it happens, the materials involved with Dumbledore's first wand have never actually been revealed. The good thing, though, is that this is a theory video. When Rowling was asked about Dumbledore's wand, she said the following, I must admit, I always wondered why nobody ever asked me what Dumbledore's wand was made of, and I couldn't say that even when asked what do you wish you'd been asked, because it would have signposted just how significant that wand would become. This non-answer got the creative juices flowing, so I've got a theory for you. What we do know is that Dumbledore purchased his wand in 1892, at the age of 11. This suggests that, most likely, Dumbledore received his wand from Garrick Ollivander's father, Gervais Ollivander, or potentially even his grandfather, Gerbald Ollivander. My primary theory surrounding what Dumbledore's original wand was has a lot to do with Grindelwald, and of course, the Elder Wand. Let me explain. If we've learned anything from Harry and Voldemort's frequent interactions, it's that, under strange circumstances, wands can do very interesting things. Because Harry and Voldemort's wands shed a core, it produced all sorts of unexpected results. Dumbledore explains this to Harry. Voldemort proceeded to attack you with a wand that shed a core with yours, and now something very strange happened, as we know. The cores reacted in a way that Lord Voldemort who never knew that your wand was a twin of his, had never expected. Your courage won, your wand overpowered his, and in doing so, something happened between those ones, something that echoed the relationship between their masters. I believe that your wand imbibed some of the power and qualities of Voldemort's wand that night, which is to say that it contained a little of Voldemort himself. So your wand recognized him when he pursued you, recognized a man who was both kin and mortal enemy, and it regurgitated some of his own magic against him. So, is it just a coincidence that Dumbledore happens to be able to recognize the strange effects produced by Brother Ones? Is he a secret expert on wand lore? Or did Dumbledore experience something like this himself in his youth? My theory is that Dumbledore's original wand was related to the Elder Wand in some way, and I say this because I think that it could be a logical explanation for how Dumbledore ends up beating Grindelwald. The Elder Wand was 15 inches long and made of Elderwood, the rarest of all wand woods, with a Thestral tail hair core. Most wands are between 9 and 15 inches long, with the former reserved for those with a small physical stature or lack of character, and the latter reserved for those with a larger frame and plenty of character. However, this is just a general guideline. Because of Dumbledore's larger-than-life personality, I think that it would be safe to assume that his wand, just like the Elder Wand, is 15 inches long, or at least close to. Wand flexibility or rigidity generally denotes the degree of adaptability and willingness to change possessed by the wand and owner pairing, so in this regard, I'd be willing to bet that Dumbledore's wand was fairly flexible. Though he was fairly rigid in his worldview at a younger age, Dumbledore showed great adaptability in his later years. If Dumbledore's original wand was indeed made of elderwood, which is the rarest wood of all, the following description would apply to him. The rarest wand wood of all, and reputed to be deeply unlucky, the elder wand is trickier to master than any other. It contains powerful magic, but scorns to remain with any owner who is not the superior of his or her company. It takes a remarkable wizard to keep the Elder Wand for any length of time. The old superstition, Wand of Elder, Never Prosper, has its basis in this fear of the wand, but in fact, the superstition is baseless, and those foolish wand makers who refuse to work with Elder do so more because they doubt they will be able to sell their products than from fear of working with this wood. And if Dumbledore's original wand did indeed contain a Thestral tail hair core, then it would have been incredibly rare, as the Elder Wand is thought to be the only known wand in existence to use it. Thestral tail hair is thought to be the most powerful of all wand cores, and would be uncontrollable in the hands of most owners. And that's it for this video. What do you think Dumbledore's first wand was made of? Ever think about it? 
leave a comment down below. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live.